Hey, hi there. It might be a while since I've seen you. Um, hi, how's it going? I thought I would send a brief video instead of many words on an email this time around. Uh, Elf Doa 3 is coming up. I'm going to run a training in July and I just wanted to let you know about it in case you're interested. So if you're on the fence and you're not sure whether it's right for you or not, or if you're going to get enough out of it, let's just look at a few things or a few benefits of, of at attending the, the training. So l number one, if you haven't been using your Eldoa very often and you really want to, uh, you, you, you want to get back into the Eldoa, but you feel like you really need a good review, the first day of the three-day Eldoa 3 training is all a review of the Eldoa of the spine, so from Eldoa 1 and 2. So that'll give you a chance to bring any questions that you have, issues that you've had with clients that you can't, you feel you can't get past. Maybe there's certain um, levels that are really challenging to teach and we'll review them and go over them um, as a group. Then we move on to uh, the Eldoa uh, of the peripheral joints. So as I've said in the past to you, to all of you, um, the, the Eldoas that you learn in, in level three are really the icing on the cake. So with these Eldoas, you, re, you create more space in the shoulder joint um, and the hip joint, which then influences the work that you're doing through the spine and can have a profound effect on the rest of the Eldoas. It's also, um, you know, I mean, there's, there's so, so many variables. You can also get very creative and it becomes a lot uh, more fun. Not that the Eldoa of the spine aren't fun, <laughs> but um, the peripheral joints are a lot more 3D. It's a lot, it's, it's more complicated, um, very nuanced and that can be a lot of fun. And the, the change that I've seen in people just working on the various shoulder joints, you know, it could be for the, um, the, the costoclavicular joint here, um, or we're looking at the AC joint. Um, they have a profound effect on the, the way your client or yourself might, you, uh, are, are on arm movement, which means that you're gonna get more external rotation and more of that fascial tension into the pelvis as one example. I mean, the hip joint Eldoas, no question, um, uh, de definitely like one, one of the best as well uh, to increase mobility in the hip joint and then the SI, um, and which translates into more movement um, through, through the T-spine. So come join me, come join me. Let's explore, let's have fun and continue your journey uh, in the Eldoa world. So if you have any questions, let me know. I'll include a link to register uh, in this email and um, uh, I wanna see you. <laughs> All right, take care, bye.